Hi everybody, so this video is going to be a sort of review of some products that I bought recently which are storage products for stationery. Um, I have bought, well there's three different items here, you can see I've got the Delida or Delida pen case, I have got the Clam pen case from Ray May, that's at the front, and then I have two larger cases which are by the brand Sonic from the range um, Ut Limbs Master. Um, all the details will be on the screen as I go through them, but also do check out the links below in the comments section. So I'm just going to go through each of these one by one and sort of go through my initial reactions, um, what I think about them, and at a later date I'm going to actually show you how I'm currently using them. Um, but this is just sort of like the unboxing sort of video for you to see what they all look like. I had a little bit of funds left from Patreon from last year, so thank you Patreons, thank you Patrons. Um, I had a little bit of money left over from last year, um, so I treated myself to a few things. Now, I bought these three items new, um, but I actually got this one second hand and it's really good quality, so I'm happy with that. Now the point of all these items are trying to make it easier for me when we move, um, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm kind of trying to have a setup where I can just pack things away really quickly and easily and then get them out again when I need them because we're going to be short of space. We're going to be staying at my mum's and then when we get a new place, it's probably going to be fairly small, I should imagine, depending on what we can afford. Um, so I kind of need to have things compact and ready to go at any time, like I mentioned. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. <laughs> So I've been looking at like um, storage solutions that are like you can zip them up and put them away. So the first thing that came to mind was one of these um, Bell, I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't know how to pronounce it the Japanese way or the not Japanese way. In Japanese it's daru de, de, de like de, 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 de. Um, I'm not quite sure why, I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but um, they say de, de, de in Japanese, but obviously I don't know how we're supposed to pronounce it in not Japanese, del de. <laughs> Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. It's one of these pouches. So these are great because it's like zip up and go. And I never really liked any of the color choices they had previously, um, but I kind of like this one. It's just completely plain. And it does have an, it has an extra zipper on the front here, um, which opens out. You could fit something in, but it would have to be something fairly small, obviously. Um, but yeah, you could fit like a, I guess you could fit like um, an eraser or like little post-it notes or something in there if you wanted to. I haven't got anything in there at the moment. And all I've done so far is just pop my, what do you call them, mild liners in. Um, just to kind of test it. I've never had one before. I can't believe that I've lived in Japan for five years and I've never bought one of these pouches because they're really popular and they're really handy. And the design is unique. I know there are some like knockoffs around now, like people have copied the design, but when this was invented um, by whoever does working at Sunstar as a designer, it's by the brand Sunstar. Um, it was new and then like we never seen this before so um, I wanted to get an original version also I'd heard that the non-original versions don't stand up so well this does have like um something hard in the bottom I don't know what the other ones do but um yeah the only downside with these is they don't as far as I know fit the Tombow brush pens because um, they're quite short but it's really handy I mean look at that that's so cool <laughs> so I'm really glad I got that the other thing, the other pencil case I bought was this one. Now this is by the brand Ray May, and it's called a clam pen case. And I really like the yellow one. I couldn't find the yellow one in the shops yesterday. Um, always fancied one of these. I don't like this fabric here. I'm sort of funny about fabrics, having sewn things quite a lot, and I don't like things that don't last a long time. This fabric here is like really um, durable, like a cord, what do they call it? It's not corduroy, but it's like a really thick, um, oh God, my brain is gone. <laughs> I'm fussy about fabrics, but I can't name them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like a really thick, durable fabric. But this is like, it's a faux suede, you can see here. And this faux suede, I know, loses its pile pretty fast and can become quite threadbare. So I'm a bit cautious about, like, on the corners, there's a metal frame inside here. So I have a feeling that is gonna wear thin on the corners. Like if you were throwing this in and out of your bag as a normal pencil case. So that did put me off 
um, and I wish they'd have chosen something a bit tougher for this edging. I'm not quite sure why they chose that fabric. But the beauty of these pencil cases is that they open up really well. And I spent hours, let me tell you, in stationery shops here in Japan, opening and closing these things and seeing if they stand up. And there's so many varieties of pencil case that say, oh, I stand by myself, and you open it and they go flonk, flunk, or they fall over or they don't. But these ones are the best so far. And I think the are there. So this brand, they also do an open up one, which is also good. But for that one, I felt like there was less capacity. This one feels like you can get quite a lot in. And I kind of liked, apart from the fact that I don't know this fabric, I like the look of it. Whereas the da 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 like ones, I didn't really like any. It's all made from um, faux leather, PVC leather type stuff. And I didn't really like any of the colors and stuff. Um, whereas this feels a little bit more practical to me. But yeah, as you can see, um, so it's like that and then it opens out and it just sits like it's really really good I don't uh, so I sound really negative but I am a bit funny about fabrics I don't really like the the cheapiness of the lining but we'll see how it goes it should stand up to wear and tear it just it's very synthetic I suppose but never mind so uh, the reason why this is full of like um toiletries a hand hand lotion and lip balm and medicine is because this is actually going to be my sort of by the bedside table caddy for the moment um, so I was thinking uh, when I go to bed at night I put my glasses in here um, and then I can take my glasses out in the morning and it, it's just a compact thing it sounds like crazy maybe that I'm trying to make everything into putting everything in the containers but I'm just thinking like when we leave or when we move house or when we um, go, like, we might go camping um, we might go on like trips and stuff once we're in Europe um, this could be really handy not just for pencil case but for like a handy bedside, a bed, sort of like a travel bedside cabinet, do you know what I mean? Um, because it obviously it sits like this and you can put your glasses in or you can grab things from it. Like sometimes I wake up in the night with a massive headache and I have to grab paracetamol, <laughs> which is why there's so many drugs in here. And the winter's dry here, so I always need lip balm and um, moisturizer when I'm in bed. Um, but yeah, I thought that might be quite handy. So I'm gonna try it as sort of like a bedside cabinet, portable bedside cabinet, but I got this color because I thought my son may want it as a pencil case, or I may use it as a pencil case anyway, um, at some point, or for something else. But I just thought the design was so good, um, and I wanted to try it out, so I grabbed one, and I really like it. But yeah, I'd recommend it as a pencil case as well, if you want to have something you can open out as a tray. Like, if, you, if you're like me, and you like the Dalde, Darude brand, Dalde? <laughs> Darude brand ones, um, but you don't like perhaps the look of them, try this one. So it's by Ray May, and it's called the Clam Pen Case, and I will hopefully remember to link everything below if I forget do tell me and um, so those are the two pencil cases that I got um to sort of play around with and do you know part of the thing is is also I know I've always fancied one of these and I've always fancied one of these and I kind of feel like it's my last chance to just try one because obviously I can buy them when we're in the UK but they will be slightly more expensive because they are Japanese products so I got those so these two products on the desk are by the same brand. So they're by the brand um, Sonic. I think that is the name of the brand. Um, I did have a look on their website and it was, it was a little bit sort of difficult to navigate, but um, they I've seen these around for quite a few months, possibly a year or so. Always been curious about them. Always picking them up. Every time I go into the shop, I pick them up and I try them and I put them back, like every single time. I see them I'm like let me just have another look one more look one more look now one came up on um Medicari, the sort of like second hand side here in Japan um for a really good price which is this one so I got this one and then I ordered this larger one I got this one new with Patreon money again thank you Patreons um I got this one new um to try out because it's a really really handy dandy funky system if it works. So I'm going to show you how they work and do one by one. I'm going to start with this one um, and sort of my ideas for using them. And again, I will link them down below um, and let you know what I think about them. Okay, so to start with this one first, um, this is the A4 um, version. So the other one is actually A4, like you can fit A4 in, but it's called a box, whereas this is called the A4. Um, so the way these work is that they, um, you can open them up and have them standing on the desk, is the theory. Um, but you can also then zip them up and put them away. Uh, 
So this is what it looks like zipped up. So it's really thin, like this. And because I've shoved a load of notebooks in it, it's also really heavy and it doesn't stand up. So this one is, is doesn't stand unless it's sort of opened out and made into a stand. When it's closed up, it's just this sort of big lump. And I do think they should have put handles on it. This is one thing I would like them to do because I can imagine people using this as a laptop case um, or at least I mean, now the whole point of these is that they're supposed to be like, you can use them for like mobile offices. You can grab them, you can take them with you and you can open them out and you can work in a cafe, you can work on a hot desk. The whole point is that they're supposed to be sort of mobile when they're closed. And then when you open them up, they stand on your desk. So in order to be mobile when it's closed, a handle would have been really good because this is really heavy. And I know I've got a really sore wrist at the moment, which is why I've got my wrist guard on. But I'm like, I'm trying to lift this up. I can't lift this up with one hand. <laughs> I'm like, oh, struggling. Like, so you have to get two hands and you have to hold it like this. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe a handle would have been good. There must be a reason for them not doing it. I trust Japanese designers enough to know that they must have thought, considered it. And I'm wondering if it's because of where they would attach it. Perhaps they felt it would pull on the fabric. I'm not sure. Like, I'd love to know why, because I'm thinking to myself, how can I get a handle on this? Because I don't want to have to then put it in a bag if I'm carrying it around. Um, like a bag in a bag, it seems like a bit of a faff. It would be just good if it had its own handles. But besides that, and the fact that it like, is obviously a bit difficult to manage when it's closed, I really like it. <laughs> so let me show you how, it, like, how to get it into the standing position. So on the back, there's like this little flap here. Um, that has to be sort of unflapped and tucked around to the other side. And I find it's easier to do this first. Um, so that's now sort of like tucked around to there. And then you just undo the zips. And this is like, it feels really tricky to manage this, like, because it's full, it's so heavy. I feel like there's something about it that feels really tricky to manage, but it's only for a few seconds. And once you've got it open, it's really secure and it, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. I have tried like a mini version of a different brand in these. And I gave one to my husband and he said it's just, it doesn't quite stand up when you open it again. Like with the pencil cases, if you're going to make a product that stands when it's open, make sure it actually stands because it's so frustrating if they don't actually stand up properly. But because of the little sort of um, kickstand, I suppose, this bit out the back, it doesn't topple backwards. Um, and to be fair, I have got it like rammed full with notebooks. So the idea behind this one, I'm thinking, well, I'm trialing it, is this is all my notebooks that I use for my morning pages, uh, my morning sort of journaling routine. So I've sort of crammed them all in here and I've actually got A4 paper at the back, which is what I do my morning pages on, just really cheap. Um, I've got the Hobonichi 5 year, which as you know is an absolute brick. And then I've got Hobonichi Cousin, which is also an absolute brick, <laughs> so heavy. I had this notebook yesterday, which is um, called a visualizer, which is basically a Gantt, completely empty blank Gantt charts. I'm thinking about doing health tracking. So I just shoved that in there for now. I've got my UK, like this is my special notebook for moving to the UK, all the notes about that. And then I have my work notebook. So the only other daily planner that I don't have in here is my Hobonichi Weeks, um, which in theory, I could probably cram it in if I really wanted to. <laughs> if I really thought I've got to get it in there. But um, I'm probably not going to. Perhaps if I use it, I'll just kind of stand it like that. So if you try and stand things here, you can sort of stand things, but if you tuck them behind these corners, um, they do stand a bit better. So what I had in here at the beginning was my pencil case, um, which I just plonked there. Um, but probably when I'm using it, I would open it out and just have it next to me. Now this does come with some pockets. It comes with this zipper pocket, which is very tight to get in and out of. I find that quite tight, but I suppose the idea is um, you might be able to fit a couple of pens in there, providing you haven't got this ridiculous amount of books in here. You could probably fit like um, a laptop charger in here, like the big blocky Apple ones, or I don't know, something fairly small. Um, and there, do, there are pen loops here, but I have a feeling those are meant to be only used when the thing's open because I had a little play around yesterday and I stuck loads of pen, like pens in here, like that. But obviously when you try to close it, um, you can't because the pen's sort of digging in. So <laughs> it 
if you have a tiny little kaweko you can but then you have the issue of which way up do I want to store my fountain pens because fountain pens I think are better laid flat don't quote me on that but I think they are so having it upside down and this way and that way might not be so good for the pen um, but presumably you could put your pens in like if you're only a, like a one biro kind of person one ballpoint kind of person you could just shove your pen in there and then if you think you're going to be reaching for it all day long um, you can shove it in there and then take it when you need it and put it back then at the end of the day when you finish doing all your work you could pop it back in here and zip the whole thing back up again um, like that um, but yeah, so I probably won't, I suppose I might be using them. I did consider like snipping the stitches along here so that it just made one large elastic and then my like, I could stick that in. Do you know what I mean? Stick my weeks in and it would just sort of hold it upright, which I may do at some point, but um, I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just sort of ignoring the pockets um, because I may not use it for this purpose. I may not actually use it for my morning journal session <laughs> routine, my sort of journal um, uh, collection. I may use it actually for my laptop with a charger and all that kind of stuff in here. I may actually just use that, in which case I may use it. Could you could stick some cables down here, like you could stick headphones through here, I suppose, if you wanted to. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm just sort of trialing it and seeing how it goes. I'm just sort of trying out the project really. And I do, I think it's really good actually. I think it's pretty sturdy and pretty well made compared to um, other things I've seen. So um, that's that one. And then the other one I got um, is the box. So it's called the wide box. Um, I don't know if they've got a slim box, they may well do, but um, this one's the wide box. Um, so again, it, fit, it would fit an A4. Um, let me just grab my A4 paper. It's sort of like A4 compatible. Um, it's obviously a lot thicker. So this one, again, it's the same sort of technique um, and I haven't put anything in this one yet. You zip down the sides, turn it around and fold it out. This one doesn't have any sort of a kickstand at the back. It doesn't have any sort of magnet to kind of Keep that closed. The other one does have a feels like it has a magnet here and here, so it keeps it closed. Which I was a little bit mm, like that probably would have been quite good. It feels like it feels like that one's sturdier because it has that magnet sort of holding it all together. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, <laughs> this one obviously the, the compartments inside are a lot wider. Uh, you could fit tons of stuff in there if you wanted to cram your whole life into here. Um, and it comes with these Velcro dividers. Now I'm a bit, I'm not a fan of Velcro like removable dividers, but I'm going to have a play around and see, um, see what I can fit in here basically. Um, but these are removable. So there's one long one along the back and then one that you could move up and down here. Um, and then it has two of those zip pockets here. So they're similar to the other one, a bit tight, but you could fit things in there if you wanted to. Um, and then along here, it actually has these, this is a slip, slip in pockets, which I think are better actually. Um, like I would prefer these to be these slip in pockets. The ed edging is elasticated a little bit, much easier to get things in and out. Um, and considering the fact that I suppose, uh, I suppose thinking about it is because when you flip this back up, these go upside down. <laughs> so yeah, that's why they did it. <laughs> Trust the designers. So if these were slip pockets, when you do that, obviously everything might just fall out. Um, so yeah, that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I suppose you could put like notebooks and stuff in here, like little post-it notes and things like that. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet, as I said, um, but I'm gonna have a play around. The idea was that I would get all of my art supplies in one of these. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm looking at my art supplies and I'm thinking there's no way in hell I'm gonna get them all in here. but. I'm going to try <laughs> and I'm going to let you know. Um, I haven't decided what I'm using them for, like I've probably said a million times. I'm probably repeating myself, um, but I'm just going to have a play around and see what I can fit in them and sort of what kind of um, use I'm going to use them for. They do come in different colours. This particular one and that one actually, I think, they come in a navy as well. 
Um, I got the grey just because I like grey. Um, but if they, if it's really, really handy and I think it might be useful for something else, I may get a different one. I haven't decided yet. There are a few secondhand ones, but I'm not like sure yet. There is also a children's version, which again, every time I go in the shop, I have to play with them. And they seem to be slightly smaller. I'm thinking B5 size. And they come in like different colours. They come in like pastel colours, like purples and pinks. And I think there's a nice blue, I think. So after showing you my initial reactions of these products, um, I then went on, as you can see in this footage, to sort of play around with the system. Um, so I'm here playing around with the box version. I decided to keep my journals, um, all my morning pages and planners and things in here. Um, so it was just a case of trying to decide what I was going to put in these pockets. Um, I'm just sort of playing around, like you can fit. That is a Samsung, I have no idea what version, I'm sorry, but it is a Samsung phone. <laughs> Um, that fits in that pocket. Um, I was just checking to see that the, the Derrida pencil case fits in, um, if I wanted to put those in there. So yeah, as you can see, I just sort of had a bit of a play around with it um, to see kind of what configuration worked for me. My overall review is I love them. I absolutely love them to the point where I did buy another one. <laughs> so I'm showing you now what my desk looks like at the moment. I have two set up on my desk. So I have sort of converted my desk to be like portable so that when we move um, it's easy for me to just zip them up put them in the suitcase and off we go so I have two now on my desk so on the left is the navy version so these are still the box versions the navy version on the left and the grey one on the right so this navy version is sort of like my desk so it has all of my journals and planners at the back important information notebooks that tin there is full of paper clips and small loose items and it actually just sits on the top when I close it and it all fits in. Post-it notes, washi samples, glue, um, medicine, because I always have those on my desk. Um, yeah, just basic, kind of basic stationery, um, mostly for planning and just plain writing and journaling in that one. And then the second one that I have next to it is the grey version that you saw earlier in the video, which now has my non-paint art supplies. So I have all of my watercolour pencils, my normal pencils, some special art drawing pens, um, and then markers and things, and then drawing paper at the back. So this is only sort of half of my art materials. It doesn't have any of my, my painting things in there. I'm not quite sure how to transport my paint supplies yet, but um, I'm really happy with having these two on the desk. And as you can see, they just fold up, dip the zip, and then off you go. And I'm really impressed with them. Um, yeah, I love them. So of all the products in the video, these are probably my favourites. I do really like all the other um, items that I showed you at the beginning. Um, I'm definitely going to be using them. But these two here, the box versions of the Oatlands Master, are definitely winners for me. Um, this video is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> this is just me going out, buying the things and trying them out and letting you know what I think about them. Um, so all the links should be down below in the comments if you're interested to have a look at these products for yourself. And I will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.